Hey guys, um, this is a quick um, video on um, the herbs that I use for my little shampoo or basically like my scalp cleanse. And I've got quite a few in herbs. I've already added them in here. And like I said, um, uh, and this is inspired from Miss CJ. Um, thank you so much for putting that video out. Um, a lot of these herbs. Oh, and, and just for you. <laughs> Be my stash. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's, that's, that, that doesn't even include what's in the bag. Yeah, yeah. But um, what I love about my little um, uh, health food store is that they have different size bags. And see, that's, that's like their small bag. That's the, um, uh, yeah, that's the medium size or next to medium. I think that's right. And then this is the small, I mean, excuse me, the large bag. And I've got some of everything in here. Some of these I already had. I actually I had them since sometime last year. Um, had no idea how to use them. You know, like to get. I didn't realize that you can just you know boil them as a tea. So what I've got in here for my shampoo mix, and I'm reading off my list so I don't forget anything. Thyme, comfrey, patchouli, nettle, chamomile, burdock root, uh, marigold. Horsetail, which is also known as shaved grass, hibiscus, marshmallow, lavender, coat's foot, fenugreek, rosebuds, and Irish moss. Most of these um, herbs that I have just listed off um, have astringent and um, mucilage, muc is M U C I. L A G, and I'm trying to do that from memory, so I'm gonna, may not have even spelled that correctly, but um, those are the properties of, of a lot of these herbs. They're clean. A lot of them are cleansing. A lot of them are good for dandruff. Um, you know, ex get, removing the extra sebum, which I have a pro seem to have a problem with. My scalp tends to overproduce uh, sebums. And using dandruff shampoos only uh, exacerbated the problem because it completely dried it out, uh, which you know forced forced my scalp to produce more sebum and therefore itch and all of that. So I'm getting ready to pour my warm uh, aloe vera juice in here, and I'm using just a cup, and then I'm going to mix uh, a little bit of. Uh, the uh, black African soap that I just got. Thanks, Miss Bernice. Um, that I'm wanting to try. So uh, I'll come back after I pour the. Uh, okay, I'm back and I have poured the uh, heated uh, aloe vera juice and um, it's aloe vera juice that I got from uh, from Walmart. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, sure. Hi guys, um, this is the aloe vera juice and this is Fruit of the Earth um, aloe vera juice. I get this at Walmart and the Walmart uh, or, or where it's located in uh, my particular Walmart is in the vitamin, um, vitamin, milk of magnesia, the, the medications, that type of thing. It's in that section of the store. And this gallon, uh, last time I bought it was seven dollars. Actually, the last two times I bought it um, was seven dollars. And I used two cups of that, and I warm up, um, warm it up just till it just barely begins to start boiling, and um, pour that over my uh, herbs. And I'm gonna let this steep. Uh, this has been steeping for. Actually, about two, three hours now. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and wash my hair or wash my scalp. So, um, I will be trying that. And for the first time, thanks to Miss Bernessa, uh, uh, this is Raw African Black Soap Shampoo and Body Wash. 
There you go. Some of the tape was right there so you can't see. And I think that's... Oh, I can't remember. Now I don't have the shea butter with me. I'm going to put two tablespoons of that um, in here. Of course, I'm going to strain this out. And then add uh, a few drops of cedarwood essential oil which is a good follicle um, and uh, put it in that what I do is I put it in uh, a spray bottle and you know I go through and that's the nice wonderful thing about locks because you can get to your scalp and you know I go through each each row and spray you know uh, spray my little mixture on the uh, uh, that might help somebody and uh, I will see you guys later. Bye.